the purpose of the testing that we're doing here in Oklahoma is what we call landing performance and brakes testing. And so for these conditions, we are looking for very calm winds and we are looking to determine the minimum distance that the airplane requires to land and stop. We need to make sure that we have the proper equipment and the proper people uh, with the proper certifications in order to do the work that we think might come up. We definitely face a lot of challenges when we're uh, testing remotely. Sometimes that can look like just a lot of unpredictability and having to readjust the plan constantly. So for brakes testing, a lot of spare tires, spare brakes, axles, anything related to landing gear because that's what we're putting the most stress on for the testing. We face a lot of weather-related challenges, especially here in Oklahoma. Occasionally we'll have to plan evacuations due to severe weather. We usually uh, operate uh, 24 hours a day, two shifts of 12 hours. We're in constant communication with design engineers back in Seattle and we have our logistic teams back there and ensuring that we have support 24-7. The team that we have to support us on remotes, they're really critical to helping us accomplish the testing really efficiently and safely. The best thing about being on remote is when you're here, uh, everybody has a singular focus, everybody's on the same page, you feel uh, as much of a team as you'll ever feel in a flight test program. Every team member that's been part of this program has worked 100% on making sure that this program succeeds, that the airplane performs as we expect it, so that we can provide a safe product for our customers and for passengers.